Yep. Hey, it's Aaron from GameWithDudes.com, and in this video I'll be checking out Toucan Game. Toucan Game is a admittedly children's game, but Toucan Game is a push your luck set collection game all about numbers and toucans that look like parrots, but they're they're really toucans, but they look like parrots. Toucan Game was designed by Haim Shafir and is being published at least in the US, as far as I know, by Amico Games. In Toucan Game, players will be playing a series of five rounds, trying to get the lowest score by getting pairs of numbers in a column that will zero out. Eight and eight is zero. Not really, but in this game it is. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so these are the major components that are in Toucan Game. And I've already mentioned the, the parrot, Toucan, yeah, I've, I've gone over all that already. Well, yeah. I guess one thing I did not mention was uh, the little tag here. Uh, the card game where two can win it all. That's repeated all over the box is including the, the box, the inside, you know, the, the bottom of the box. It's just repeated everywhere. Two can is replacing you can. One player wins this game if memory serves. Okay, these are the components. So you're gonna have 104 uh, number cards, zero through 12. There's eight of each in this deck. You're also gonna have four uh, toucan, I don't wanna call these parrots so bad, four toucan cards. These are wild, so they could become any number uh, you wish. Um, obviously instructions and a pretty healthy size scoring pad. Oh, and also uh, two double-sided uh, player guides. I'm not sure why there's only two in a game from two to six players, but I, yeah, that, yeah. So if you look at the lower portion of both sides of the player reference cards, it just gives you some examples of how scoring works. So if you look at the seven and the zero, those are not the same numbers. So seven, they just add up to whatever their value is. Same for the one and the seven. And if you look over on the right side, the one and the four, five. Remember the game is about having the lowest score. If you look at the three twelves and the four nines, those both create what's called a quartet. The toucan card beneath the 12 creates another 12. So it's four of the same card. They don't have to be next to each other, those columns. They just have to be present in your box. Your box is your, your eight cards, your two rows of four cards. So what those conditions do is if you have a quartet, you would deduct an additional 10 points from your score. If you look in the upper portion on the left side, you'll see six threes. Those threes create a sextet, which means you have six numbers that are the same numbers, two can cards, whichever. And getting a sextet means you'll deduct 15 points from your overall score, which you are also able to do, which is not shown on the reference cards, but is shown in the, the actual manual is an octet, which is four of the same numbers, including two cans, across all of your entire box of cards. I've never seen that, but it could happen. And if you get that done, you can take, you can reduce your score for that round by an additional 20 points. So that's a lot. These are the components. We stop talking and get into how the game is actually played. Our player is gonna get dealt eight cards. They will place those cards in two rows of four in front of them. So you have player one, player two, and player three. The deck goes somewhere everybody can reach it and one card taken off the top to become the discard pile. On your turn, there's a couple of things that you're able to do. You can draw a card from the top of the deck, look at it, exchange that card for one, for either a face-up card, we'll get into that in a second, or a face-down card and exchange it. So you replace it face up. You, whatever, you, whatever card you replace, you're gonna leave the card that you just drew face up and the card that you're replacing is gonna go into the discard pile. That's one thing you can do. Other thing you can do is take the top card from the discard pile and swap it out for a card in your box. However, if you draw a card from the top, if you don't want to use it, you have to discard that card 
and then flip over any face down card in front of you. The game is played over five rounds as well, and a round ends when one player has revealed all eight of their cards. At that point, every player will get one more turn. Every player is gonna flip over two cards. Whoever has the largest sum of the two cards they flipped over would go first. So clearly player two is gonna be going first because they got 16. They have 10, they have 11. So we're gonna play like this. So player two is gonna go first. So player two has options. Player two can take this two and replace the six or this 10. Maybe they wanna replace the 10. Maybe they wanna draw from the top. Also one thing I forgot. Player one is going to be this little Mac Amiibo. Player two is going to be this Golden Shovel Knight. And player three is going to be obviously this pink yarn Yoshi Amiibo because why not? All right, player two's turn. So let's just say player two is just, they don't know what this is. This could be a 10. This could be zeroed out already. They don't know. So let's say they just replace that, okay? Figuring, well, two is less than 10. And well, even if they left the two, player three couldn't get it anyway because they'd be covering it up with whatever they discarded on their turn. All right, so player three doesn't want any of this stuff. Player three is gonna draw. Look at that, they drew an eight. So they don't really have to look, but they're gonna see whatever this is. So now this column is zeroed out and they're gonna get rid of this four, which they didn't know that was a four, which is also advantageous to player one. So player one's gonna clearly take that and then back over to player two. Back over to player two, they have an 11. That means not a, they don't have to flip it over. They just don't have to. Okay, player three's turn, they drew a five, not gonna do anything with that. I'm gonna flip this over. So zero, 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 zero. Remember the toucan, probably should be a parrot, becomes a three, goes wild, so zero, zero, four zeros. Good for them. Irrespective of whoever went first, last, whatever, everybody gets one more turn once someone flips over their last card. So let's say I just do this. So they're done, that's their turn. They get one more turn. Let's say they just do this, get rid of that eight. All right, so everybody got one more turn. I hope I did that right. So everybody flips over everything else and you tally up the scores. Player three, you have zero for this round. And you just score each round singularly, you just whatever the score is. Uh, player number one is going to have, it's two zero, so eight, 11. No, yes, 11, eight, three. So player one will have 11, and then player two, zero, zero, would have nine plus seven, 16. So, zero, 11, 16. And you just you put all the cards back together, shuffle them back up, everybody eight, and do it again, uh, four more times. And that is how Toucan Game is played. Okay, just one more thing that I haven't really mentioned um, that I don't really think I really describe this rule correctly, even to my family. I don't, well, I don't say on purpose, but you can't, the only card you can move around is the Toucan card, but you can't move the Toucan card to form a quartet, a sextet or an octet. You can move it around just to create another zero dot column, but you can't create a set with it. What I mean is you have, I have a three and a Toucan card. I have an 11 and something I just can't see. So what I'm able to do is if I get a three, either from the deck or the discard pile, I could take that three, zero it out. And then the rules say you can fly it to another location, but you can only fly it to a place and replace a face down card. So I could do this and I'll flip it up. My thoughts, I really like this game. It is intended for children. It is very simple, but I like it. It's fun. Like I've, play with all my family. They like it. My wife is a pretty tough critic on games. She liked it. At first I thought, oh, five rounds is too long. It's not. It goes by pretty quickly. The rules are very simple. Uh, I did mention that I did not explain that rule about the toucan placement. 
I'm not sure why I didn't. I just felt like let's just play without it, but it's fun. The game is fun. I'm sure there are other games that are out there that I cannot think of right now that this could be easily compared to, but I can't compare them because I can't think of them right now. How convenient. Revolutionary, no, and that's okay. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Hit that like button. That helps me out as well. I'll leave a comment. I'll just sorry if it's something worth responding to. I will certainly respond. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe. And be blessed.